So hi, welcome to another video. My name's Paul and today I'm with Archik. Yep, and we're going to do a full driving test from King's Heath in South Birmingham. It's quite unusual because you've actually got a full license already. Yep, so it's what you call an FLH full license holder. Sounds a bit rude, but it's just <laughs> FLH full license holder. So we're going to drive around, do a test route, see how it goes, and then at the end we're going to have some feedback. And um, just tell people why you wanted to do this, because at night, so what's the point of a full license holder? Doing well, I'm, test. I'm very um, fond of Paul and I very much appreciate the work he's doing on YouTube to promote good driving uh, for learner drivers and put all their um, fears to ease and I thought I'd come along and help promote him by filming a test for him to promote him further. Yeah, that sounds good. I didn't pay to say that, did I? <laughs> <laughs> right so when you're ready, we're going to turn on, we'll get moving. Um, it's just a full length test route, same as a learner would do, except you're not a learner. But as I've said in other videos, everyone's a learner really because you're all learning. Everyone's always learning everything, even me. So, running. Okay. Let's, let's turn on. No, let's go. Because this road is a bit bad with a view, I will help with what's coming from ahead. But at the moment, there's nothing coming from ahead. Okay. Um, if you see me marking, don't take any notes of that because I might be making notes. So um, every time I mark, it doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. All right. So just ignore what I'm doing. Okay. Um, well, so when you're ready, we'll move. Uh, there's one car coming from ahead. There's a red car. Alright, okay, can't see that one. No, Not the car with the red written on it, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. a car coming. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll wait for that one. Uh, there's one, yeah, there's only that one, there's nothing else. Okay. Okay, so when it's ready, I mean, yeah. when you're ready, then we'll go. So at the end of this road, we'll turn right. I won't so much by the way throughout the video, so okay. if you want to talk to me you can, but it's just like a kind of test situation as it were. Okay. And then we'll pull up on the left anywhere, safe or anywhere on this road, doesn't matter. Drive roads, whatever, don't matter. And we'll do this several times just to test you pulling over. So there's nothing wrong when we do this. Yeah. Okay, and when it's safe, we'll carry on. If you get too warm, let me know and I'll pull the aircon on. Okay. Uh, it's quite a humid day. I just point out as well to people watching, this is the first time you've ever driven this car. So yeah, you know, yeah, it is. Well, first it's time. It's a different to my. <laughs> At the end of the road, we'll go left. Okay. And then at the roundabout we'll be turning right, which is the third exit. Okay.
If ever don't say by the way, it's five ahead. Um, so I've got to say that. If ever don't say, just keep going straight on for as okay. long as you can. No problem. And at the end of the road, we'll turn left. Okay. Now we'll turn the next road on the left, just by the side of Tesco's. Okay. Just put that small tree. Okay. Anywhere around there will do. It doesn't matter if you're blocking the driveway, just anywhere. Okay, when it's safe, we'll carry on. Now the roundabout, we're going to turn left, first exit. I assume as well you don't know these roads because you don't live around. Only them. some of them. I've been, yeah. been around oh, some good. of them, like Witchell Lane and yeah. Kings. Not and that's okay. Yeah. So we're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> We'll turn right. End of this road, we'll turn left.
and we'll turn the next road on the right. Road on the left, it's very hard to see this one, it's just opposite where that grey sign is on the right. But it comes up very soon, just on the left. And then end of the road will go left. And then the first road on the right. Somewhere safe on the left. Anywhere down this road is okay because it's quite a long road. So anywhere safe on the left. Okay, when it's safe, we'll carry on. The end of the road will go right and then turn the first road on the left. Just anywhere around here will do, not bother about driveways. Okay, when it's safe, I like to turn the car around to face the other way, so a normal three point turn, and then just carry on driving. <laughs> yeah, it's a side time, yeah. There's no rush, there's no, uh, no time limit. Okay. <clears throat> so he's a pedal a bit quicker. <laughs> So whenever it's safe, turn in the road. This one, yeah. <laughs> reverse, I'm sorry, reverse is different in this car as your car. Okay, when at the end of the road, we'll turn right.
no, we could pull up on the left just by a curb somewhere along here. Okay, so next one to do is the independent driving. Yeah. <coughs> no, you would have done this on your test, didn't you? Yeah, I did, yeah. So, so, do you want to give, uh, do, sorry, do you want me to give you directions or do you want to have a diagram as well? Uh, just give directions, I think yep. directions should be fine. Okay, so there's three directions. If you forget these, just let me know. I can repeat those, it doesn't matter. So it's going to be end of the road, right, roundabout, left, first exit. Then next roundabout, right, third exit. Okay, so end of the road, right, roundabout, left, roundabout, right. Okay. So can you just repeat those and then we can... End of the road, right, roundabout, left, roundabout, right. That's it, that's good. And when you do those, just carry on driving and I'll give you some more directions after. Okay. So that's it, I'm just going to follow the road ahead for a little bit more and then there'll be some more directions later on. On the left, anywhere around this area, anywhere safe. Okay, so next one is more independent driving. 
And so this one is going to be next road on the left, end of that road left, then on the roundabouts just go straight over. Okay. And I'll give you those extra numbers when you get there because it'll always be confusing. So it's just next left, end of that road left, and the roundabouts, so the road's exactly opposite the ones you <coughs> So exactly opposite the roads that you're on. Straight on? Yep, so okay. it's all straight over. Next left. End of the road left, yep. roundabout straight ahead. That's it. Okay. Okay. I'll make the roundabouts clearer when we get to them, just because okay. there's, there's a few different ones. Okay. So the roundabout is just to be clear, it's third exit, then second exit. Is it straight or left? It's straight. So ahead third and then ahead second. Okay. That's good, so that's the end of independent driving, just back to normal directions. Okay. So is that a car in the distance, the very far one, that black one on the left, yeah. where our kids running up? Uh, because they're getting in one lead, I was going to pull up just before that. If you pull up on the left, just before the silver car. Yeah. And if you're leaving the through to pull away again. On this occasion, don't worry if they're in driveways, just... Just behind just, that silver car. That's it, just reasonably close to it but with enough room to pull away. Is that right? That's good, that's fine. Okay, and then when it's safe, we'll carry on.
we'll take the next road on the left. Okay. And now we'll be pulling up on the right just back where we begun. Okay, yeah. Uh, anyway, you can get one stuff to you. Yeah. This is a test center road, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, let's go. Oh, I got you. Uh, I was going to be fast. Just be careful, yeah. yeah. Just down there. Okay. okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, just if you want to back it up, you can, or just. You get forwards a little bit, just gonna block the drive and then back it up. Okay. This is not gonna be a test, it doesn't have to be perfect because you don't often practice this that much. Okay. But um ideally back you up. would, but yeah, just back a little bit. So they get it back right and just sort of quite a bit of right turn. That's good. It's very hardy on it because you can't see the curves at all. Yeah. That's fine now there. Okay, yeah. Okay. Money, right, let's turn off there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's turn off. That's in, so what do you make of that? I think for someone who's had a, has got a license, that's probably as well as yeah. I'd expect someone to have a license to drive, yeah. uh, someone an experienced driver. That's um, good. Whether or not it's good enough to pass the uh, L-plate test, uh, because I know they've got some stringent rules, yeah. I don't know. I may I may have made a really serious mistake, but uh, on a, I think for day-to-day -day driving, I'd be pleased if I drove yeah. like that. That's good. Overall, it's good. There's only a couple of things I'll say. There's three things, but two are like the main ones. What do you think is the main one? Because there's one which a lot of people do. Bus lane? Yep, yeah, that's it. Because that bus lane a lot of people miss. You yeah. did see you did get out. Because of that, it wouldn't always be a serious fault. It could be, but I've known examiners, I've had that a lot on test routes. Some would fail you, some wouldn't. Because I say you made the effort to get out, but you did actually go down it. So normally that'll be a serious fault, but depending on the examiner you get, they could let you off with it. Um, but you did get out, you did see the danger, you got out. So it's not like you didn't bother, you, did, you, know, you didn't get out of the way. You might know though, you might know now in Birmingham, there's a lot of them who've got cameras on. That one hasn't, so don't worry about that. But if you go down to the stain like that, you can get fined for it. Because uh, like in the city centre, they have ones. As soon as you enter straight away, you get a fine. So not that bad, but you know, I did keep well out to keep yeah. out to begin with. The reason I say not that bad is the signs are not that obvious. And on the video, you can't see this, but it's not that obvious the signs because the signs are actually after you come out and you can't see them until you come out. Um, unless you look right and this is the bus stain there. But that leads, brings on to the next thing. Um, what could you do so you could see the bus line better? I didn't mark this down just yet, but there's something about the approach to junctions that could be a little bit better. It's good, but it could be better. So? Yeah, be so. So if you're coming slow, you'd have more time to look and then see. You're not too fast, but a little bit quick. A little so bit if you quick. come up, it's like you're trying to go, but that's because of your experience, because you're sort of more able to make the car move. Because <laughs> it is different assessing someone who's driving about normally day to day. Yeah. To someone who doesn't, because a learner there would probably crawl, 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 and be too slow. Yeah. Whereas if you experience, sometimes you go too quick. So it's not too bad, but there's been um, junction approach for just one or two for that. It depends again on examiner, because all examiners don't mark the same, although they should, they don't, because I'm thinking of different ones here. Yeah. One will give you maybe three for that, one will give you one, because I know there are different examiners the way they mark. The only one I mentioned, the main one, is moving away. Um, you're moving away is good, it's a couple. This, yeah, one this, of them, the car came up quite quickly. That's it, that's the one. Because there's some of them where, what's the order that you should do things in when you move off? It's just the order that's wrong, you're doing it well, but the order's a bit wrong. Um, so when you come to junction, it's the mirror thing we'll move over. What about when you move off from here? Well, what's the order? MSPSL? Yep, so it's like the mirrors, signalling then going. Because sometimes, you know, it's what you're doing, you're just signalling, then looking. So you're going to signal, then you look, but then too late. Because, oh, yeah, right. that car was coming down. So. I can't move that one, I don't know if it's just silly or not, but some of them you're kind of signaling like here and then looking. So that could be a serious fall, again I say it could because it depends on the context. The one with the car came down, it probably would be, because that car did slow down a bit. But it's really about looking, looking, and then signaling and going. But having said that, the one with the bike, you actually did quite well, because you saw that bike coming down the road. Again, this looks different on the video because that yeah. lens is a bit bent, it looks yeah. a bit further away. But that man was coming towards us, so you'd had a good reason not to go. So just sort of look in and then signal then go. Because if you look around, make sure, then signal. Imagine if I, this won't come on now because the car's off. But if I signal like that and then look and someone's there, you've already told them you're going to go. Yeah. So it's I'm going, so actually not, I can't go. Not quite yeah. in the right order. That's it. But it's good, it's not dangerous because you're not, you're not pulling out like when they're right on the back of you. You slow down a bit that car, but they're not 
they're not kind of steaming down and having to do an emergency stop. Okay. Um, there's not a car behind us, unfortunately. You know, <laughs> sometimes here at the beginning of this test, people pull out when there's a car like here, and yeah, straight away you've messed up. So there would have been one or two serious faults, but don't worry about that because your driving is good. It is at a good level. Again, the test isn't a true reflection of how you drive all the time. Yeah. Because that's one especially thing. when you're being filmed, it's not <laughs> it's not the same as doing it normally. Um, just a few of the things I mentioned, steering and junction, just a little bit tighter in the bend, but that could be because you're not used to this car, because you don't drive this car normally, yeah. it's this different steering, different size, so just a bit tighter on the corner, and a little bit slower, and you get more, more sort of control. Um, the manoeuvre's good, just to quit now, it doesn't really make any difference to you, but um, you don't have to indicate when you do a manoeuvre, because okay. you took it off, I know you put it on took it off, because um, the signals are saying I'm going down the road. Whereas, if anyone was around to see the signal, you wouldn't do the manoeuvre. But not bad because you took it off, no danger course. Um, the mirrors are good, because you're doing your mirrors a lot. A lot of times I'm checking you, doing your mirrors really well. Um, so the only thing is, like, the bus lane, which is down to the speed, the speed's just a little bit high. You're not speeding, but you get like a little bit more than you could. There's one example where we had, what was it now? There was someone pulling out from the left towards the beginning, and you just kind of accelerate, and then you have to brake quite a bit. Yeah. That's it. It was after we turn left to our test curves, I think. Um, it's getting not dangerous, but if you'll see that come in, don't accelerate, and then you don't get caught up. But overall, it's good. Um, the result in terms of a test is not really relevant because you're not on like an L test, as it were. Um, which brings us on to the next thing we're going to do, which is some questions. Because I know you wanted to ask you some questions so, about yeah, things. Um... So, we'll do this in another video. We're filming it now, but we'll do this in the next video coming soon. Um, you've got a few questions for me. Yep. So, yeah, we'll leave that video there, but thanks for doing that. Thanks that's, so much. There aren't many people that would do that. A lot of drivers who wouldn't um, wouldn't put themselves through that because they'd be too nervous to turn up <laughs> and do a test. So I do appreciate that. That's really good. Well, so we'll leave that there and uh, let's get on with the questions. Great. Hope you enjoyed that.